Welcome to Wild Watch. I'm the Big Fish. We're at uh, Methven on Sunday afternoon. Isn't it great to be on the greener surface at Mount Harding Raceway for a 12 race program? Gee, they've got big fields there. An early start, 11.40 for race number one. First highlighted runner here on Wild Watch goes around a race number four in the form of Flow Motion. Uh, a bit that's been racing quite well. I thought her run at Ashburton last start was good, but I'll take you two starts ago to Omaru where she sat outside the lead of the entire trip and she stuck on really nicely. That's her in the black colour, Sam Thornley. Battle away to run third behind fourth amendment. She's got a good record on the grass at this track. She had four starts at Methven, been placed twice. She has one on the grass before. She gets a nice intermediate draw barrier three and more importantly, it's only a mile. So you need to be on the speed. She's got reasonable gate speed. Very much dependent on what price you can get on Sunday morning but I don't mind flow motion. Race four, number three. Main dangers, Dulcinea and Opo from the inside should get an economical run. Go around to race number eight. Horse that was a real black booker at Eddington last start in a good field was Jasper Trouble. Got back in the field in the white colours here. It is third to last. You can see Riley Harrison's uh, cap on top. She's sitting about five back on the fence and looking for a bit of room in the run home. Just track her through because she doesn't get much room. Now this race was taken up impressively by Major Cyclone. He's heading to the slot race at the end of uh, December. Jasper Trouble dashes through the middle here and runs out of room. Prior to that was excellent at uh, Omaru running third behind Majestic's third up. Grass track form is good. Riley takes the drive again. Got the handy draw. I think it's worth playing each way. Race eight, number two, Jasper Trouble. Main day Danger. Well, Crazy in Love was good last start. It's not without a chance here. And Brett's mate's falling back in grade. He's got no form, but I think he's worth working into your trifectas and first fours. Going on later on in the program, and race number 12 is a horse that I don't mind in the form of Wuhan. Now, this is the sectional standout. Don't often tip a horse that ends up running eighth at its last start. But I tell you what, they dashed home here. So you've got Double Jeopardy winning from out wide. You've got Brando, Bronson on the inside. Uh, Teddy the Terror in the pink colours and Treacherous Baby right down the very outside. Horse of highlighting's in the orange and blue. Now, you think, well, didn't make up much ground. The run home couldn't. Run its last half in 56.6. Last quarter was 26. 6.7. That's about as quick as Wuhan can go. That's Tabasco running to its outside late in the piece. Now he's won the second row. He follows out Don Juan. Should get a decent run through. Just note he's down to race on Friday at uh, Eddington Raceway in a pretty hot field. He uh, backs up here at Meth and I prefer him more on the grass uh, than maybe on Friday night on the all-weather track. Wuhan's going okay. The son of Gold Ace. He trolled nicely the week before that run last start at Eddington. Let's have a look at the three highlight for you on Sunday afternoon at Mount Harding Raceway. Race for the multi-maker, Flow Motion. She got the right draw, the right driver. Over the short distance to go forward, and I think she's hard to beat. The Black Booker goes around race eight. Jasper Trouble hasn't got a lot of race day form, but it's been a little bit misleading. A little bit unlucky last start. Loves the grass track. Big chance, race eight, number two. And the each-way bet goes around the last. It's race 12, number 10, Wuhan.